can see on the screen here, there are three images for you to pick from. See which one resonates with you. And that will be the image for your reading. Um, if you do like what you see today, please consider liking and sharing so that others can get the messages like you. So on to your reading. Hey there again, welcome to Reading Journey. I am Journey and I am doing your reading for the card, which you see on the screen there. That is the card in which you picked. So we're gonna go ahead and get your message today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So your card says, the one that's on the image that has it, you can see there's tape over it. It says the mist. Trust your inner compass, be led within. So let's see what they've got going on with that. Okay, so let's go ahead, see what is going on for you, my friend. Hmm, all right. Gratitude, facade, faith. Okay. All righty. All right, so it looks like my, the message that I'm getting from you is there definitely is something that the universe, God, source, he, she, whatever you believe in, is asking you to be led within, to trust your inner gut. Because I feel like, hmm, you may feel like something is not quite going the way you want. This could have something to do with a career, finding a job. You might be having a hard time. You may have had some interviews and you just can't seem to find that right fit or you can't get interviews, or you get the interviews and you're not getting the job. For others, and I apologize ahead of time for the sniffles, the seasons are changing. This is almost like a year-round thing for me, seems like. So, it could also be a court situation. Um, I know, somebody's like, did you blow your nose? I tried already. <laughs> I've blown my nose several times this morning. All right. So this could be um, a court situation as well. It's all becoming like, this is... Hmm. It's all a dream. But let me let me take a look here. I'm going to clarify on that one. Yeah, because it's, they're asking you to gratitude. Or, okay, you may feel like the gratitude thing, you might be trying the whole love and light thing, the gratitude, the manifestation thing, the stay focused type of woo-woo that everybody talks about is what I'm getting. And... You don't feel like it's working. You're tired. You could be, you're tired of where you are. And you are right. You, there's something you have already learned here. Um, at this point, you just have to kind of stand and wait for what happens next. I feel like you've done everything right. Cause yeah, you're ready to let go of something. You're ready to birth something here for sure. You're ready to move on to the next thing. I do feel like the universe, God, source, he, she, whatever you believe in, is asking you to try to be patient because something is coming in. You're not really stuck. You're just kind of waiting for divine timing. So that's why they're saying continue to trust your inner compass and go within, be led from within, be led with perhaps, right, hmm, there could be something in your chart blocking something where you can't see. But I'm here to tell you what you're doing is working. Don't give up. I feel like I've got some people who this is very new to you. Trusting in the universe is very new to you. 
And that's why it's like your brain is trying to understand like what is going on, why this is new to your brain even. So your brain's like, this is dumb. Let's just stop doing this because it's not working. But I'm encouraging to, I encourage you to keep going. It will work out. You're just in a, a time and a space where you're waiting for, um, some of you is divine timing and that right job is gonna come through. It's all divine timing. But for others, if it's a court case, you're waiting for some type of deliberation, some type of decision to be made, or if it, it could be anything where something has to, a decision you're waiting on. You're waiting on a decision, whether it's from the universe, whether it's from a job, whether it's from something else. There's something here about you waiting. I'm also hearing something about indecision. So maybe you're not sure what's going to happen next. I have that going on as well. But I'm telling you, you're just right now. I'm hearing something about beast mode. Okay. So I think you're just ready to move forward. You just can't right now. You feel chained up. But again, it's divine timing. Because I, what I see is I do see an offer coming in. I do see the offer that you want coming in. Yeah. So your challenge here. Hmm. Be gentle with yourself. You're not. I, I feel like it's because... You may, you the thinking may be, nobody's ever been gentle with me. Nobody's ever cared. Why should they care now? Somebody is really learning to trust in the universe for the first time. So kudos to you, sweetheart. This is what it's like oftentimes, honestly, because this is where you're learning to live from your heart, not from your head, or live from your spirit and your heart and not from your head, which is a tricky thing to do. Let me give you a heads up. This is how it works most times. But once you get your brain trained to realize, nope, I don't, you don't lead me. You don't tell me what to do. You don't let me know what the outcome is. The easier it will be. And it's not, we're not mad at the brain, right? The brain is really trying to help and support us. The brain is trying to figure out what the heck is going on. You never did this before, right? So we're not mad at the brain. We're not. Um... It's just overriding those thoughts. Having uh, compassion for yourself. Trusting that what is coming through is going to come through. What you're requesting is going to come through. Now, they're showing me another deck for you. So, let me pull out this deck. Hold on. Because I see this offer coming in. I really do. I really do. They want you to get your mind off of this. So I'm definitely um, encouraging you to get out in nature or do things that are fun that are going to take your mind off of this. This is also, I'm also hearing something about writer's block. Somebody's having writer's block. This will help open up ideas for you for whatever you're trying to do. It doesn't have to just be writing, but there's something about you feeling blocked. So I see with this card, the children card, they're asking you to get more playful. Do the things that make that are fun to you. Even do things that you did when you were a child. I don't care how old you are. Who told you you had to stop? Right. Nobody told you you had to stop. Stop. And I also have a manifestation card here. I'm telling you, your manifestation is coming through. It really is. Your manifestation is coming through. And you're going to get the freedom because I have the freedom card as well. You're going to get the freedom. You're going to get out of this feeling because it's just a feeling. It's a feeling of being stuck. I can't move. And perhaps, well, hold on. Let me, let me not downplay what you're going through, okay? You may legitly, it does feel stuck. I know what that feels like. I've been there. 
right? So that feeling of stuckness is really just a, a feeling of waiting for the right timing. You've done everything you need to do, right? You've put up your requests, your prayers or whatever. You just continue to water it. And that's, that's by getting out in nature, taking care of self, going within, um, doing healing work, right? Just taking and taking care and nurturing yourself. Take a nice bath. Take a nice salt bath with your favorite oils or something like that. Um, if you don't, if that's not something you're into, get out again. Meditation. Yeah, a card. I see this card. Meditation. Meditation is going to help you get through this low period. It's going to help you get through, okay? Because, yeah, I see that that energy is there. I'm not going to deny that. But I will share with you, you're not stuck. It's literally just an illusion. Continue to have faith because I see you are ready to birth something and it's going to birth. It can't just stay there. It's not going to disappear. It's going to birth. It's going to happen. I see this offer coming in. Okay? For those of you who are in some type of court decision, I do see that some offer comes in. The offer that you had faith about is going to come through. Trust that. It's coming. I literally see it. It's coming. It's going to come through. Same for the for, same thing for those of you waiting for a career, waiting for a job. It's going to come through. Whatever this is, somebody is waiting on an um, I'm also getting maybe an inheritance or money of some sort. Someone's waiting for a big opportunity. It could be a big job. It has something to do with money. Let me put out another deck for you. Hold on. You could be getting signs, though. They're asking you, don't ignore the signs. Sorry for this, Nicole. Sweet Spirit, what is this card that you're wanting to share with them? Renewal. Yes, yeah, something is about to renewal, renew, and I see the card timings. Timing. Yeah, I'm telling you. Again, they're asking you, take time out. Get your energy back. Get back on track. Keep that faith moving. Keep watering that seed. And it says, it's all in the timing right now. It's divine timing what you're waiting on. Again, oh, thank you, sweet spirit. This is perfect. This card says limitations. Obstacles are not what they seem. You can get around them with some careful thought or simply choose something better for you. Again, and that better for you is meditation, trust, faith, switching off that brain, going to a place of peace and harmony, not listening to the negative thoughts or outside forces, and that's what's going to get you there. All right, so the card that they want today, they want to share with you, your angels, God, source, whether you believe in, they're saying they want you to know you are inspiring. So if you've been doubting that, you are inspiring. And what you have is inspiring. And what you have, people need, okay? There's something about that that somebody needs to hear. I'm hearing you've done nothing wrong. I'm hearing that. So the universe is saying you've done wrong, nothing wrong. So in their eyes, you're perfect. They know we all make mistakes. Perhaps in man's world, man's law, you've done something wrong. But okay, whatever. You serve out whatever you need to do, right? But in whatever it is, what if I need to say this. For somebody, there's something that you have to go through in man's particular law but the universe is telling you your guide team they're like we will help you get through it yes there are man's laws there are earthly laws that you must follow someone could be getting locked up i'm hearing that i know that's very specific but they're like we will help you get through it you still have something to give to others there's still something for you to do all right Four, I see 44. So they're definitely with you and protecting you. All right. For the rest of you, the whole thing for everyone, your angel card is Archangel Zedekiel is helping you to restore faith. See, 
Restore faith that the universe will give you everything you need. That's beautiful. I'm going to say that again. Archangel Ezekiel is helping you to restore faith that the universe will give you everything you need. Okay? All right. So again, trust that inner compass. Trust that all is working out because I literally see that. I'm your... Uh, I'm here. I'm just here for your confirmation that everything you're doing is working. Continue to just quiet the mind. Get in meditation. Get outside. Do things that make you happy. Have fun. Don't think about this. Give it to them. Give it to the universe. And they're telling me to tell you to just park it. They got it. Okay? Thank you again. Thank you so much for, excuse me, thank you for allowing me in your energy today. Allowing me your time because I know your time is precious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, peace, health, and harmony. Again, I am Journey. If you don't mind hitting that like button or sharing it on your way out, I appreciate that. Take care. I'm on to the next group. Bye-bye. Hey there, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Journey. All right, so your card is the one that you see on the screen. Your card says... Mother of salt waters, passion, wild love, open your heart, let love in. All right, so mother of salt waters, let's take a look and let's see what's going on for you. All right, gratitude, gratitude for allowing me in your energy today. All right, let's see here. So we've got... Okay. All right. So I looks at me, Mother of Salt Waters. You all have been in a stagnation period here. There could have been some challenges in work or finances. Let's take a look here. Bear with me. So, yeah, you're, there's a need for you to, it's almost like you got, for lack of better words, PTSD. So, you are being encouraged to let love in, okay? To let love in again. Um, let people in again, right? So, yeah. There has been a period of isolation here with your, looks like your finances, your work life. You may have had some challenges getting your work and life, your, your social life to all balance out. Someone was causing you, I definitely feel like someone was causing you some type of adversity here because of they, they were envious of you. Whoever this is, whether it's work, lover, family. But whatever they were doing, it was causing them failure. By trying to keep you stagnant, it was also keeping them stagnant. And you weren't going to stay stagnant forever. And we're going to eventually get justice, which I feel like you're going to be getting. There has been a judgment here placed on them because they put a judgment on you there could be someone as well asking and wanting you to now open your heart because you're going to find out something here that was done unjust and unfair i feel like this individual or individuals, however it goes, um, they thought it was funny. And they are wanting you to look at it as, it was just a joke. You know, it wasn't anything to really hurt you. But I beg to differ on this one. I'm not sure all that they did, my saltwaters group, but something doesn't feel right here. You may have to take, you may, for someone, there was... Uh, negative manipulation, energy, magic, and manipulation done here. And you had to take a lot of salt water baths. 
dealing with this. Okay. I feel like, yeah, someone definitely did something to try to isolate, isolate you. But what they didn't know is that you thrive in isolation. You thrive no matter where you are. So isolating you wasn't going to work. Yeah, you were still, these are people that you turned your back on. You're still soaring. You were still going where you were going to go. So the path was, there's someone here. This may not be all of you, but there's something that you have your sight set on. You have your sight set on some type of travel, moving, 22, 33 o'clock, moving, moving forward, moving somewhere else, away from this energy or away from these individuals or away from this job, whatever it is. Someone knew that and they wanted to stop you from doing that. But the thing about it is they are, the energy I feel from them, they are nasty people. They are nasty people, person. I don't like their energy at all. Who would want to be around that? And it's weird because they don't understand why you don't want to associate with them anymore or be with them anymore. You may have ghosted. There's definitely something about ghosting someone. Someone also ghosted an ex. You're like, no, not interested. This person is all into shiny things. They thought by offering you maybe shiny things or offering you even parts of their body that that's what you were you would be entertained by but you're so much more wiser than that i'm also hearing you're a healer high priestess something like that you're very intuitive and knowledgeable you are not in the lower chakra area here your chakras are all very aligned and well balanced So yeah, and I see the Empress card. You're definitely an Empress regardless of gender. In other words, you're very successful. You're very um, astute. This is the word I'm getting. I don't, even, I don't even use that word. You're very uh, studious. You're very smart. You're attractive. You're very, there's something about you that feels very like, um, classy and royal and regal and it feels that way so i don't know what your lineage is what lineage you come from but it's very regal very very classy very yeah and it's you are not about um your lineage is very um, they, they deal with quality, quality materials. They're not a, this bloodline is not a, a poor bloodline is basically, I, that's the only way I know how to say it, but y'all are not, your bloodline is not about just riches though. That just comes to them because of the knowledge of who you are, are and how you carry yourself. So something is balancing out and you're recovering from whatever this individual or these individuals tried to do, whatever adversity they tried to cause because of their envy. It's sad because they, again, they failed. It was never going to work. This keeping you in a position where you're not moving, you're still moving, you're still leaving. You've already left these people energetically and physically. You've already left. You have no association to them. Yeah, so again, you are, uh, everything, every aspect of your life is balancing out. The breath of God is on you. They're giving you the keys or they've already given you the keys. Some keys already. 
you're getting you're getting the key here. That's all what I was what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna leave it like this. You're getting the key to open the door or to a new path to balance out everything. Finances, your body, your health, everything. Everything that someone tried to destroy here. Yeah. See, somebody here, they don't want to have to deal with you. They really don't. They can't even look you in the eye. They are like, they know to get back into your good graces. Not going to happen. And the sad part is they want your respect again. They want to be back in your life. Someone knows that you, who you are. They, I think they, they played you for a fool. They played you. They had no idea you'd grow like this. That's pretty much all I can say about that. They had no idea you'd grow like this. And they know at this point they have to kiss your ass to try to get back into your good graces. But even kissing your behind wouldn't even work at this time. And they are so embarrassed. They feel so stupid. So stupid because, again, like I said, there is nothing that they can do. Now, it for someone, this is a big amount of money. For someone, for others of you, this is a job, this is opportunity, this is something else. But I can say this. For someone, for it's a, um, because whoever these people are or person, they now have to go get a regular job and they do not want to do that. So that tells me there is some money here involved. There's a, a good amount of money here that's been involved in this situation here. They were living the, living the glamorous life. But now they've got to, somebody has to go back to school. They don't want to do that. Some of these people are old and they know that they've got to put in years of work just like you did to even get to, to years of work, to get to the place where you are now. And some of them are old and they'll never get there. Some of them, they just don't have the stamina. Some of them, they feel like they don't have the wisdom. Well, then no, because they're not connected to the source that, that who you are connected to. They refuse to do that. They want a fast buck is what I'm getting. These are the types that they will always want to live, win the lottery. Instead of going to work, they rather go get some money somewhere um, or they'll take their whole jack check and spend it on the lottery instead of saving it or, you know, doing things like that. So now they're at their pits because they now have to go get a regular job. They can't even get, they can't even kiss your behind to get, uh, to be a part of what you're about to get because you would have supported them in some type of way. They could have looked to you for support, but now that's never going to happen. Because they, or this person, tried to hold you up. Tried to take something from you. Tried to... Whatever the hell they did, and I feel like they did a lot, but we're not going to get into all that today. They did a lot. But now you've broken, broken free out of it. Something has balanced out. I feel calmness with this last energy here. So the universe has balanced something out quite beautifully. Now you'll be able to go after more of what your passions are, what you love, what you love to do. Some of you are going to find new love. Someone didn't want you to do that either. Oh, well. All right, so let's see what your cards are. The universe is saying, I am confident. So yeah, your confidence is back. Stand on that. Your confidence is back. They have, they have given you the key. It says Archangel Raphael is helping you through challenging relationships, adding balance. There it goes. Into your social and personal life. Again, you're going you're gonna to be getting all your things balanced back out back back out friendships if they cause because i feel like someone here was causing chaos in your family that's getting balanced out separation of your family that's getting balanced up back out your money's getting balanced back out you're going to network with the right people who have the right opportunities 
So all of that's coming back. All of that's coming back. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to end it there. My Mother of Saltwaters group, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. Um, so others can find the message like you found it and get the, the information they need. If you would, on your way out, consider hitting that like button or, sh button or sharing this video. I appreciate you. Again, I am Journey, and um, I'll see you soon. Peace health and harmony to you. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey there. Welcome to Reading Journey. I am Journey and you pick the card that you see on your screen right now. So that card actually says plunge. Don't hold back. It's time. Go for it. Dive in. So let's take a look at this read. Thank you so much for allowing me in your energy. I appreciate you. So let's get your cards out here ready to go. All right. So it looks like this reading is clear. Hmm. Let's take a look here. I will wish forgiveness and prayer. Ooh, we. You may resonate, and I kind of felt that before I even started your reading, you may re resonate with the card right before this one, pile, the pile in the middle. They were called the mother of the salt waters. So you may resonate with that, my love. Okay, so you've released some toxic energy or you've gotten out of some toxic energy Thing that was taking place in your life. I just got a message too. So you're going to be, you're going to be, uh, before I forget, you're going to be writing the new, you're, the new, <laughs> I can't talk. This next chapter in your life is a new chapter and you're going to love this new chapter. You're writing a new book, a new life is starting for you. That's why we have that plunge card. She's diving into the waters. You're going into the new. You're going into new deep depths that you have never been before that are going to bring great emotions for you. I'm hearing crying from happiness. So whatever you're plunging into, it's something amazing. Okay? You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you could be connected to one. Um, but the main thing I'm getting is you're going into the deep depths of something that's going to bring you joy. And it's also because you did work. You, you dug into the deep depths of places that you did not want to go. There's something about singing bowls, I need to say. Someone's into singing bowls or you've been listening or, or doing singing bowls or wanting to start something like that. That was random. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna keep going. So four, that was just, that was really specific. You have released toxic behaviors. You've also released either a to toxic mother, mother-in-law, to toxic sister, sister-in-law, somebody toxic in your life connected to some type of negative stuff here may like the color red or may wear the color red. I don't, I don't know why I say that, but I need to say it for someone. Bear with me here, I'm getting a message, hold on. That toxic person wants forgiveness from you, praying for forgiveness, wow. They've caused a lot of havoc in your life. Could have caused you financial troubles as well for some of you. So I definitely get there could have been some energetic manipulation done here as well. They could have caused some problems for you on your job as well. Stirred up a lot of gossip, stirred up people against you. Whether this is a job or something else, this individual, and I feel like they worked in, I'm hearing pairs? 
This could be pairs. This could be groups that this person rounded up against you, a pair or group or something like that. This person's also had been going, if you are a person that believes in prayer, this person was using something to go against your prayers, trying to, uh, what? That's so weird. Have your prayers rejected? Or sending up some, something to stop your prayers? My goodness, okay. So, someone was also, looks like somebody also was trying to do something against your health. And they thought it was funny. This is a very prideful person. This person is like a bully. I'm also getting spiritual bully. So somebody was doing something energetically as well. Not only just in front of your face or behind your back at work or with family members or friends, but they were also into some dark stuff. That's why I see that red over there. This person does like devil worship for somebody. Someone it's your neighbor. Hmm. Let's see, Knight of Wands. Let me clarify something here. Six of Swords. Okay, so yeah, there was something going on in the background here. Give me a minute. Yeah, somebody was doing something careless out of their ego. They could have been messing around with your root chakra. I hate when people do that. I think that's just, that's the lowest of the low. This person is very evil. This is an evil woman. She does bribes. But she now wants to come in because she's lost. She's lost and she knows you're gaining something here. Because she's been forced to get away, get out of your energy, get away from you. Someone may have even, you may have gotten a restraining order against this person. She knows you're about to gain something here. She's now going to have to be moving into the conflict in which she create, created. She now has to pray, pray and ask for help, for forgiveness, but she ain't getting it because she's going to deal with that karma, whoever this is. She may even be going a little delusional here. She could be a Pisces doesn't have to just be that but that's sticking out to me this person is going into delulu land because of what they tried to do to you so that tells me if that's what's happening that tells me that she did something she did some type of spell to make you go crazy and now she is the one who's going to go crazy She's going crazy, though, over something that's taking place for you that is good. Let me see if I can find out what that is. What is that? Two cards, please. Okay, so you're finding out what happened here, what this woman did. This is interesting because this woman is really focused on you and your happiness and your success. This lady really or person has it out for you. 
they don't like you. You, I don't think you've done anything to this person. So maybe this is something that took place in a past life or has something to do with somebody you're connected to. Their brother? Maybe you, if, if you're a feminine, you had a relationship with their brother? And really this battles between them, her and this brother. That's very specific. So you're growing. Something is growing. Something is working out for you. You're continuing to grow. Nothing's wrong with you. Nothing bad is happening to you. And you're moving forward. You're about to have some good luck here. This woman is really upset and obsessed with your knowledge, your knowledge and skills. They see you as very knowledgeable. You're independent and they don't know how, this person doesn't know how to be independent. They don't know how, they always have to lean on someone else or man or woman or group, something like this. This is a person who can't do shit by themselves and they look at you in amazement because they're like, how in the world do you do what you do? You did all of this by yourself. You're a boss. You literally, this person could, listen, this person could have rounded up many people against you and they may have done some really nasty things and you still came out a boss you still came out peaceful you're not bitter you're not hating on anybody you're not you're still being you and you've come out even better this is what they're seeing this is their view of you they did they messed with everything you had this person here I don't see with these cards finances, but I feel it. Oh yeah, I do. Now I do. Yeah, they mess with everything. Your health, your money. They tried to alter your future. This is somebody who was messing around in your Akashic records. They were doing everything. Hiring spiritual uh, gurus so that you would not get a wish and they would get it. They would, this woman was after something of yours, whether it was energetically, whether it was time, whether it was money. I think it was, honestly, if this person was so obsessed with, they wanted what you had. There had to be some type of tangible item that you come with, whether it's even, listen, even if you don't have it in hand yet or didn't have it in hand at that time, they still can, this person looked at your charts and they knew what your destiny was. This is really weird. This person knew your destiny and they went after it. They were going after everything. Cause I'm seeing somebody like, oh, oh my gosh, look how great they are. They have such great energy. I'm gonna take that. Oh my gosh, people love them. Look how much they smile. I'm gonna take that. Oh my gosh, what? They're getting, oh my gosh, they're gonna get money. I'm gonna take that too. So this somebody was trying to live out your life. Somebody was trying to do a destiny swap. Research that. It's a real thing. Whether you believe it or not, guess what? They do. This person was doing a death. Someone did a destiny swap or they were trying to. Or they were draining you energy, energetically, taking your energy and storing it it's a real thing you don't believe me i didn't believe it either until somebody told me two years ago i didn't know people could store people's energy in their jar in a jar be careful who you are around i did a video uh not that long ago you may want to check that out talking about energy vampires it is some real weird shit out here going on you think everybody thing is just rosebuds and lily pads it's not there's people out here doing some weird stuff Stuff that you and I would never think of. So this is what this person was after. But here's the kicker. It's over. 
because Archangel Chanuel has, has helped you and could, is working on you to continue to love yourself more, understand your worth and value. Many of you have done that. That's why it's not working anymore. That's why this good luck is coming through. There's some type of, of authority that's coming through, financial reward or an inheritance or trust. You take over a trust or something, something of that nature, but there's a big opportunity here that's coming through here. Yes, yeah, because of your truth and integrity. People are gonna find out, this is what this person is scared of. They're finding out about how truthful you are and you're, that you have truth and integrity, that you are not a liar. All the things that this person dug up about you, and somebody's looking at that, I feel that now. Somebody's been digging, like, why does this person hate that lady or woman, or excuse me, a man, so much? What is it about them? I don't see it. And they're discovering that this person is just absolutely jealous of you. Jealous of you, jealous of your, I'm also hearing either your partner. They want what you have. You were given something. You were given something. You were entrusted with something of value here. Could have been a property or a home. And this person is absolutely obsessed. They're gone. I, they're gone too because they have some attachments to whatever you're receiving. They have attachments to it because it. they feel like their identity is attached to it. So it's definitely, I feel like it's something materialistic. It is. Because a lot of times when people start to go cuckoo and they're so obsessed with these types of things, it has something to do with material in some type of way. I mean, material is the root of all evil. I believe that. I can, I can I'm, I 100% believe that. Material and the, the attachment to materialism and, and money. Again, money isn't a, mater a material. It's made out of material. It's nothing real. It's what the value that we believe that it is. And that's what this person, they, they're, I'm hearing psycho, psychic, a psycho psychic. So I don't know if they're like into div divination and they've just abused it and now they've made themselves crazy here yeah they're trying to get opportunities using sudden wealth and opportunities by using divination so they were abusing divination tools here all right so enough about them i want to get more about you like so again you're getting all of this back whatever this is for you that toxic life is gone. That toxic whatever they tried to attach or do or things that you even did for yourself, that's done. You're not that person anymore. You're not in this trap anymore. This person's stuck because they want forgiveness because they know that you're about to get this good love. Your prayer has been answered. A prayer has been answered here. And they're moving into, a, um, into delusion land here. Somebody's about to lose their mind. They're already there. I'm hearing the brink. They're on the brink of doing so. Wow. They're just kind of going, I'm feeling like they're going in and out, in and out. They're just trying to sustain themselves long enough to see if they still can make something happen or change in their favor, which is not changed. And I feel whoever this group that she or worked with, could be a he too. Whoever this per group that this person worked with is now against them. Because they entrapped them. Your cards are, I'm hopeful, I'm peaceful. Yeah. I'm hopeful, I'm pe peaceful. You're going into healthy connections. Again, if, if somebody did something to dismember your family, 
that's coming back into balance. The archangels are helping you with that. They're also helping you to be more open, have a more open heart and show what uh, loving qualities to others. So this situation actually made you more compassionate and it also gave you more wisdom. It educated you, which this person is so mad about because they really thought they were just going to just destroy your life completely. 53, 53 on the clock, which is 88, and it didn't. It made you abundance, and it actually helped you free, to free you more. And it's also helping, it says, Archangel Gabriel is helping you to think more clearly in all decisions of your life. It actually helped you to be more. Someone here, you're an intuitive, you're gifted, you're psychic, you're something here. This has made you more aware so it's bringing things even to you, bringing those things that you were unaware of to your knowledge. So this person helped bring this stuff to your knowledge. They would have done better by absolutely doing nothing to you and staying silent than doing what they did because they just opened you up to know that, oh, there's something here for me? Thanks for letting me know. And that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> Dang. So yeah, I guess they're pissed and they're just waiting. And like I said, this person, they're going to Lulu. They're going nuts. And they're trying to wait though to see how this pans out. I don't know why they would want to wait to see you get this gift. I don't know. Or get this opportunity or get this whatever this is. It's very weird to me. Because they fought so hard for you not to receive this. But you are. So I don't know why they're hanging around. I don't know. But I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your energy. Your energy is precious. So I do appreciate you. If you would, on your way out, consider liking and sharing so other people can get the message that, uh, messages that uh, they need. That would be awesome. Um, but again, check out that message before this because it lines up and goes with this one. So I appreciate you. Peace, health, and harmony to you, Lauren. Congratulations. Take care.